They were the scrappy UW squad who beat Hitler's team for gold at the 1936 Olympics. Win by a yacht. But the boys couldn't do it without the boat. That was the sweetest boat I've ever rode in. I've rode in hundreds. In the 1960s, Jim Ojala and his Pacific Lutheran University crew inherited the famed Husky Clipper after it had outlived its usefulness at the University of Washington. My first stroke was taken on my 19th birthday in the seventh seat of the Husky Clipper, the Husky Clipper. And the battered beauty built by the famed George Pocock still had some life left in her. Our little crew set an American Lake record that stood for 30 years. Although his racing days came decades after the original Boys in the Boat's victory in Berlin, watching the film put Jim right back in that seat. The movie captured it perfectly. For all the people who didn't believe in you! I got shivers. My eyes still haven't dried out from all the tears. It was wonderful. As one! Jim was the last rower to ever occupy the seat, held by the movie's hero, Joe Rance in the Husky Clippers final competitive race before she was retired. The refurbished shell is now safe and sound back at the University of Washington, serving as an inspiration to new generations of athletes, a gift from the boys and the man who built the boat. That was a work of art and an act of love. And he was proud of that boat and he was proud of those boys.